when you were late addition to the, the senior day roster last year, I guess, how, how much consideration do you get to, to using the, the COVID gear or not? I guess one time that means we're the physicality. Yeah, I just really want to become part of this. Come back to be a part of another special year. I think last year we showed what we're capable of to come back this year and have another chance to go to the playoffs and everything. That's, that's why I came here and that's what I want to do. So I was able to leave my decision to come back. We see you working all different types of punts in practice and saw a bunch of different ones last year. Just how big is it for a punter to be versatile and, and do different things? Yeah, I think it's important. I think you guys have probably seen over the years with all the Australians coming over, we have a, a few different tricks in the bag. So I think having the coaches allow me to show my strengths and the different punts I can do, that really helps me and it helps the team. So I've been working on that all summer and yeah, looking forward to be a bit bag of tricks again all season, so it should be good. Is there anyone, I think last time you said you had a group chat with all like the Aussie punters who are at the US now, is there anyone who talks back to it with Ben this year? No, I, I don't know. I'm, this, I'm really checking the schedule at March, but um, there's a few other boys I keep in touch with. Yeah, we're pretty close to punch. Give them down the field and the forwards and show up really well. Recognition you got last year, being the finalist, mean to you? Yeah, it was it was great. It was um, it was funny because it was in such a year where we had so much team success. So I wasn't really getting too caught up in all the individual stuff. But I mean, I guess it's um, yeah, just a testament to the way we're coached and the way that we all come out every day trying to get better. So that stuff's all good, but I can't really control any of it. So I just, yeah, I'm just here now, you know, focus on this season. Uh, you've obviously played a lot of football here in Florida State. What do you feel like is different going into this 2024 season? I think the standards have been set really high from last year. I think each year I've been here, we've progressively increased that standard. And I think everyone knows now who comes to Florida State football what it's about and what the expectation is. So I think that's really exciting, bringing in a lot of new recruits and, and freshmen. Um, just having the standards set really high, I think that's going to pay off in the long run. I guess I know it's not your home country, but how cool is that? I mean, getting to play a game outside the U.S. and help kind of spread the, the game to other parts of the country, like Ireland. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited for that. I never thought I would have been going to Ireland to play a game of American football. So I've been, I've had that one on the calendar for a while, and yeah, I look forward to getting over there. And, uh, experiencing Dublin. Yeah, that's, that's the big You guys are breaking in a new long snapper well, this year. You know, how does that change things for you and Ryan uh, in the spring and now this preseason? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, we were able to get work last year with Mason and he's um, adapted really well to being the number one long snapper. So we're really excited to have him. He brings great speed on his snaps and really good consistency. And he's a great dude to uh, train with every day. So we're super excited. You and, you and Ryan being the long side each other for the longest one. What, how, what's that relationship like? And I guess, was that maybe a reason to come back to with y'all two going out together this year? Yeah, no, it's awesome playing with Ryan. He's, uh, he's over there. I wanted to do a joint yeah, interview with him, actually. Weeks, uh, maybe, uh, maybe next time uh, we'll do it. But, no, he, he's awesome. He's, um, he's really improved this summer. And, yeah, I know he's going to have a big year and a big career after here as well. So to get to do it with him and um, yeah, have that friendship with him and that connection with him, it's, it's super special to both of us. And I'm just so excited for him this year. Yeah, How are some of those young guys uh, in the special teams room continuing to develop? You know, Jake Weinsher, back behind you. How are those guys doing? Oh, they're awesome. They, they just bring such good um, good energy. Um, it's good for us older guys to have that young energy in the group, I think, sometimes. So it keeps us feeling a bit younger, and, and they, they help push us as well. In all seriousness, they've come in and they've really um, yeah, lived to that standard on how we operate. And, yeah, it's great to be playing with them. And, I'll have great careers here as well. Like you said, that's second year. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex.